hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Mate and today we are starting a campaign as the Iron Islands and House Greyjoy. Uh, our premise is that we are set in the Clash of Kings scenario. So at the moment Joffrey is sat on the throne. Rob has just declared himself King in the North. Stannis is gunning for the throne. It's total chaos, total mess. And we are going to use this opportunity ripe for the taking to declare ourselves king of the iron islands and take the north uh, now of course two of our sons roderick and Marin, both were killed one died in battle against robert and one died at the hands of lord jason of seaguard who i think indeed still sits so potential revenge for us there uh, we of course have the seat of pike which is a uh, powerful coastal city in terms of our troop levy at the moment it's 12,000 troops under our name uh, a lot of the lords of the iron islands will be hard to win over of course a very hard people right we want so my wife is a harlaw which grants us a pact with the reaver of harlaw which is good because he, I think, is the highest uh, lord within my realm. In terms of any items, we've only got the Great Kraken. However, for this playthrough, I have made it so that if any prisoner has a, an item in their treasury, we are able to seize it. We don't need any of the specific traits necessary to do so. Because I felt like, as ra uh, raiders and reavers, it's exactly what the Iron Islands would do. So, we are going to pick an ambition. But I think before we do that, we're going to sort out the council. You're really good. Uh, in fact, the council's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, Lord Dunstan, though, is... Uh, Fantastic, Master at Arms. So we're going to put you as Captain of the Fleet. And that's quite cool. He's called Captain of the Fleet. Nice. See, little touches like that are really good in this game. And the mod itself just... It really is... Uh, an excellent conversion. Build zeal. Have the drowned man whip up religious zeal. That's something more useful for priest. Because the priest doesn't really get to do much. Spymaster, you are the most useful. Theon is with me, is he? He is indeed. Uh, and he has the sea bitch. Has he been castrated? No. Awesome. And he is only going to marry Ironborn, it seems. And of course we have Lady Asher as well, who has Black Wind as her flagship. She could potentially marry other people for us, but I think we'll get her to marry matrilineally. Ooh. She can marry a Valyrian. That might be cool. Uh, how about though, if you let me know in the comments who you think we should marry Lady Asher to, uh, be it matrilineal or indeed uh, non-matrilineal, maybe just to the Lord of Volmark, who knows? Let me know in the comments and I will probably do it next episode. Uh, in the meantime, let's get some bodyguards together. Theon is a definite. You are a formidable fighter, so you're a definite. You're huge, so you can be intimidating for us. Quellen, you're pretty good as well. And anyone else? Yes, Victarion, my brother. Who should really be the High Admiral, I think. Because he is just a beast of a character. And we need another commander. So Donor, you're up. I don't need you as a commander, I'm afraid. You're a little abysmal. So we'll put Lauren as a commander as well. Meanwhile, let's have a look at 
our options. So we can go on a reaving, which pays the iron price and organize an ironborn reaving across the narrow sea to pillage and plunder. We'll need a regent when we do this. So we'll lose five gold, but what we basically do is just siege lands and try and take it. But we should get a decision. Here we go. Lord Paramount Balon, I declare that my brother Robert left no trueborn son. So, Lord Paramount Stannis is arguing that Tommen, Joffrey and Marcella are all bastards of Cersei and Jaime, and not Robert's true heir. So we will accept that. Dagon wants to marry someone, so we'll just say we'll find him someone nice. Go marry her. The Ironborn have too long lived under the shackles of the men from the Greenlands. It's time we hoist the flag of freedom and live up to the old way. Just in time, my son Theon has returned from Winterfell with an offer. So, we can. Kingdom of the Iron Isles. Lord Paramount Balon gains the Kingdom of the Iron Isles. The title Lord Paramount will become defunct and the Iron Islands will become de jure independent and the Kingdom of the North will declare war on us. Or, we will gain the Kingdom of the Iron Isles, and we will declare war on Tywin. But, I don't think we'll be doing that. We'll be following Theon's um, petition and going for the North, because that was always our aim. So, we are now crowned the King of the Iron Islands. We've declared war on Rob. Hopefully all my vassals will honour their obligations, because we'll need them. And we will be sending our troops to the mainland. So, let's get everyone over to Pike. Meanwhile, we need to set an ambition, and the ambition, I think, here is going to be to win the war. Uh, meanwhile, let's send my wife a little bit of money to improve relations with her. Although well, I suppose we are a bit old, so we're not likely to have any more kids. One child needs educating from... Why is my brother my heir? Whoa. Do I need to change the rules? Oh, of course, it's... Uh... Agnatic Kingsmoot elective. So the Kingsmoot was a traditional ceremony held by the inhabitants of the Iron Islands. So we need to hopefully try and get Theon or indeed any Greyjoy in in order to continue the playthrough. Uh, I mean, I'm happy with Euron because he's pretty cool. I'm not going to vote just yet. Um, there's only two people that have voted at the moment. Meanwhile, my Master of Laws and Master of Coin need jobs. But we've got far better ones here, so you can... Get me taxes, if we can click on Pike. Uh, you, I don't really need you to do much right now, so you can just perform some statecraft. And let's get the troops going, and let's get the fleets going. All hail his grace, Balon of the House Greyjoy, the ninth of his name, since the Grey King, King of Salt and Rock, Son of the Sea Wind, Lord Reaper of Pike, and Protector of the Iron Islands. All hail the Iron King. So we can make another commander now that we've crowned ourselves King. So Theon, there you go. And Bormund. We also get a King's Justice, who I think will have... Victarion, Master of the Blade, prestigious, granted to those de developing ability in swordsmanship. Champion of the Realm, ooh, that's a new uh, addition. Who else can I get as a bodyguard? Probably Aisha, or maybe Theon. Let's get Theon. Regent can be uh, Roderick, because he's a loyal vassal. My Master of Laws has expressed a desire to get married. Sure. Go marry Gretchel. In the meantime, let's get what 
ships we can from vassals. And we won't really need that many. Just go out to sea. So that we can merge them together. Now we don't want to strike too early in the north. Because... Actually... It would have been smart to have sent my spy master to the north to see what was going on. But that's okay. We want Rob to send his troops south. My kinsman Quentin Greyjoy wants to get married. Of course. Go marry someone with good marshal. Vanda. And did I summon my own levies? Yes, I did. So we've got all the troops that we have to muster on the way to Pike. And we can send 20,000 through the fleet, so that's uh, not too shabby. We must remember as well, the uh, Riverlands are, of course, our enemies in this as well. Quelon, you need to be educated. I can grant you a kingdom. What kingdom can I grant you? Nothing. That's weird. That must be a bug. Let's give you two. Can I give you two Victarion? Yeah, Victarion. There you go. Be educated by him. That will probably be a miserable education. But you know. It's fine. You guys are all there. The wall is under assault. Not my problem. We're not part of that realm. Right. Let's get you on board your ships. Uh, also, I have 22 command. Wow. I didn't realise Balon got that much uh, martial. Not bad at all. Let's sail around and see what we can see as we travel. So it looks like the northerners are working northwards, which... Seems a bit strange. You'd have thought they would go south. We lost a lot of prestige there. Uh, we've had Foam Drinker added to our treasury. Which is a quality one ship. So if I equip it... Yeah, we can only have one ship. Okay. Well, we'll stick with the Great Kraken, obviously. So there's 6,000 troops sitting in the north with Lord Roos Bolton. How are you doing in your other wars? He's winning despite the fact that his troops are nowhere to be seen. What if I land over here? Balon Ironmaker has expressed a desire to get married. Sure. Someone with intrigue would suit you. Just marry her, it's fine. Okay. Split the army in half. Half of you go to Winterfell, and half of you stay here, led by Victarion. And Donna. And then you've got Balon, Ralph, and Ralph. So if we need to get a, make a getaway, we can. Aegon Targaryen has invaded, so that's another uh, problem for him. And Joffrey in the Iron Throne. Ideally we need to try and capture Winterfell before his war ends. But he's already at 47%. Oh wow. Okay, we need more troops. Uh, split in half again. Head south. And we're going to keep the boats up as well. Uh, ooh, okay, they've sent some troops back. So you 4,000 can go led by Victarion. I need you to go and defend the homeland. Right. Go back to Pike. Because we are going to need to take out this northern army here. Which threatens to besiege us. Kraken and the Crow. The storm that is now ruling over the Iron Islands is something even the oldest reavers do not remember. 
dark monstrosity filled the rage, mercilessly throwing blades of lightning at the rocks which we made our home. The wind is tugging at my cloak, the heavy rain falling at my face like a thousand tiny arrows, a murmur, a curse, and continue to cross the bridge between one tower and another. I clasp my hand on wet rope, trying to keep my balance, forcing myself not to look at sharp rocks beneath the bridge. Halfway through my journey, I feel a strange sensation on my neck, a sign of someone following me. I take a deep breath and turn around, but I see nothing. I squint my eyes and see a shadow, someone coming closer. So we will either die as Balon and Euron will seize Pike and Lordsport, or we can draw our weapon and fight. Ooh, interesting. Uh, oh, I don't know which one to do. I suppose following the story, we would die at this point. So I guess I should follow the story. And that means Victarion will not be happy. But that's kind of tough. Yeah, we're going to follow the story and die. That's Balon done. And we are now Euron Crow's Eye of the Iron Islands. So we now have a new heir in Theon, my nephew, who doesn't like me at all. Uh, okay. All the lords and captains of the realm assembled to choose a new ruler. And finally, you ascended the hill of the Kingsmoot to stake your claim to the throne. Your words and gifts were met with rapturous acclaim, and many a great lord and champion have vowed to fight for you. The common men backing you with zeal. The other would-be kings can only watch as Drowned Man Hotho declares you the winner. And for that we get plus five opinion and 250 prestige. My brother Balon has died and now it falls to me to decide whether to make the funeral a big and special event or keep it small and private. Whoa, we got a lot of money there. Let's have a funeral then. Uh, all of Pike can attend? Or all the Lords of the Realm? If we've got that much gold we might as well do that. Meanwhile, let's combine the troops here. Right, how are we doing over here? You've landed and we just need your morale to go up, so that's good. Let's spend lavishly on the food. What's the terrain like? Ooh. The terrain is plain, so it doesn't matter. Uh, so what have we got in our... Oh wow, we get Valyrian Steel Armour. Shade of the Evening is the thick blue wine peculiar to the Warlocks of Karth. It's made from the inky blue leaves that grow on the black barked trees. Found around the House of the Undying. Awesome, so we have some pretty cool uh, things in the treasury now. We also need to get married. We could marry Aisha. Maybe let me know in the comments if you think we should marry Aisha. Or we could marry uh, Kiera. I do realise, by the way, that she's my niece. Uh, but I don't think Euron would care. Would it be possible to marry Cersei? No. They don't consider offers from infidels. Interesting. Uh, we need to set his ambition, which will be to win the war. Three kids need educating. So let's sort that out. Aaron Dampere. Uh, no, let's have Victarion educate. And I'll educate one. And then finally... Aaron can educate the other. So I need a new Master of Laws, which will be Ralph. 
Master of Coin, Eric, and continue your work getting me some money. Master of Whisperers, Balon. Meister, and the Drowned Man continues. You can just perform Statecraft for now. Uh, all of the guests have arrived at Pike. Good. Let's see if we can kick the north out of the Iron Islands. Looks positive. Yeah. Good, 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 good. The funeral. It's been a day since Iron has passed, since King Balon has passed away. The strongest reavers and kin of the dead gather in the keep, where a drowned man is brought in to check the deceased. Then the assembled party lift up the body and carry it from the keep to a waiting ship and is sailed out into the open sea, where the anchor is cast. The drowned man gathers up seawater and sprinkles it upon the dead, speaking the ancient words. With the rites completed, each member of the conclave come together to recount memories of the deceased. What is med dead may never die, but rises again harder and stronger. And so it's done. That is Balon and his story over. Meanwhile, the Siege of Winterfell continues. How goes his war with Joffrey? 59... Oh God, it keeps going up. I don't want him to do too well. Go and follow up with our army, because we just want to kick them out entirely. Uh, you want to kill our Meister, which I'm not fussed about. It can be lonely during a long war campaign, and who can blame a man for having someone to warm his bed? So we've had a kid. Uh, let's adopt him. Why not? Oh, maybe it wasn't us, it was someone else. The vassals of the Iron Islands now view us with respect, apparently, which is excellent. You want to be a commander? Sorry, Lauren, but you're not good. Hopefully this smashes the Starks out of the Iron Islands. Ugh, they still come back. <clears throat> Meanwhile, our campaign in the north continues. Um, but I think I am going to have to draw the episode to a close. Do let me know in the comments about marriages and who you think Euron should marry. And indeed, Theon and uh, his sister. Uh, if you're enjoying the series, please do drop it a like as it really does help and any support is greatly appreciated and I'll see you all in the next episode.